Today on Handy Dad TV, I have got an awesome mod for Jeep owners. Coming up. This video is made possible by SunPie, makers of LED conversion kits for Jeep Wranglers and Harley motorcycles for more than 10 years. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud. And today I'm talking specifically to Jeep owners. I don't own a Jeep but a friend of mine does and we are going to do a slick mod in his jeep i have got some brand new headlights from sun pie and these things are pretty cool now this works supposedly on all jeeps from let's see what does it say here 1997 to current the ones with the round round headlights how's that huh pretty slick these are LED headlights, projector headlights. They've got lenses on them. It has the low beam and the high beam built in. Plus, it has a halo around the outside. White halo for daytime running lights, and it blinks yellow when you turn on your blinker. How cool is that? So I'm gonna show you how they work, and then we're gonna install them. All right, using my portable battery here, I've got 12 volts and I'm just simulating as if they're installed. So this is the headlights and this is the high beam. Now I'm gonna test these once we get them in of course, but that's how they work. And then of course we have the, the red on the side here, these two little leads. That is for the halo for the driving lights, the daytime running lights. And then That's what the blinker looks like. Isn't that cool? And then after a certain amount of time, when you stop blinking, the daytime running light comes back on. Pretty slick. Now I said, I don't have a Jeep, but a friend of mine does, and Jeep owners love to have slick mods on their cars. So if you're a Jeep owner, you're gonna wanna watch this. Let's go put these babies in. My friend Matt already has an awesome Jeep with aftermarket headlights, but they were giving him trouble. All right, so that's the old ones. And you can see that the halos are giving some trouble. They're not lasting at all. Flickering, not looking good, but we are gonna doctor this thing up. Yep, just pop right in. So now but that's a special, so this is a special that. connector that allows you to just replace a fuse. That's pretty cool, and the wire just comes off the side of it. Yep, so it basically turns it into a twin, so I could put two fuses, so. Oh, I see that. Yeah, the 20 amp fuse is what's in there, and then we're either gonna put a five amp or. Oh, so it jumps from one, one spot in the fuse box, you can actually work two circuits off of it. That is pretty slick. All right, great, that's a great solution. Where'd you get that? Down at any auto parts store? Yep. Yeah. All right. Awesome. All right. Show me how you take this baby apart since you've already done it. Yeah. So we just pop all these out with a flathead. Basically, just pop right out. Just take them out there. You take them out completely? Yeah. Okay. Should be very easy. Now, Matt has an aftermarket grill, but the stock grill has the same clips and pops off the same way. Four screws around it, I guess. They look like torque screws, right? Yeah. You don't need any special tools to do this job other than a torque screwdriver set, which is a good thing to have anyway. All right, now what did we have here? You got the regular connector, that's the standard stock connector that will work with the new one too. But here you have the same thing, you got two leads. One of them is probably already going to your directional signal, which I think is the yellow, and the red one is the one that was for the halo. So yeah, like you said, they weren't working right. How old were they? Probably like six months. Really that old? 
Oh, wow. Yeah, maybe eight months. These better last longer than that, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah. All right, so this should be pretty easy. All right, so what the new light comes with is it has a connector here with three conductors. One is ground, the other two are for the low beam and the high beam. And then these two wires are for, the red one is for the halos, the white halos that are gonna be on as daytime running lights, and the green ones are for the blinkers. So it comes with this connector here. This connector is what needs to connect to the Jeep, and that gets you to this kind of three-way triple. And then there's this CAN bus adapter, which is supposed to prevent problems with LEDs in, you know, aftermarket LEDs that replace regular lights. So this all goes in line, gets pushed in there, and that's how we do it. But let's connect the, uh, the thing up and give it a try. All right, we're gonna do a test. I connected the red wire, which we determined is solid 12 volts, and the yellow wire here is the blinking one. So we're gonna try this out, and I connected the connector. The, the standard Jeep connector comes into this adapter, which goes into the CAN bus, CAN bus, which goes into the headlight. So let's give it a try. All right, we got good halos, and we got high beam, I mean headlights, but the halos went off. The halos went off when I turned the high beams on. These are the daytimes. Huh. Oh, that went off? Yeah, everything's off now. Now the blinker's working. Okay. I thought we had solid 12 volts with that other one. That? Uh, let's see. Okay. That's headlights. No, actually it looks like high beams too. Yeah, it's high beams too. All right. Turn the high beams off. The high beams are off now. I wonder why... We're not getting solid 12 volts to the uh, daytime running light. That's on auto. Yeah, we're gonna have to trace that. But the uh, the headlights are working. Yeah, the headlights are running good. And the blinkers work. It took us a while, but we figured out that this behavior is normal. The halos go off when the headlights are on, and they delay coming on when the headlights are turned off. This is probably done for heat reasons, but we didn't see it as a problem. After all, the halos are daytime running lights, and you rarely use your headlights in the daytime anyway. This is the best way to get a connection that won't come loose from vibration. And then we'll just cover them with, you could either use shrink wrap, you know, heat shrink tubing, or you can use just electrical tape. Whatever you got on hand. Look at that, not exactly heat shrink, but it'll do. A little bit of a kludge because the clip is broken on this side. <laughs> we put a little zip tie around and we're gonna tape it too, just for good measure. Now you gotta fit all that stuff back in there. Yes, I do. Okay. Luckily there's a void right there behind the, the light. They just push in? Yeah. Wow. It's like that. That is a mean looking truck you got here. I want to see these lights, though. I want to see them all. Yeah? Yeah. I don't think you do. I do. I just I, won't look at them. Yeah, that thing's 22,000 lumens. Over 22,000 lumens. Wow. And put these on, too. 
Nice. So we got a light bar up the top. We got floods on the mirrors. He's got space for another light right here. Wow. That is some serious brightness. All right, I've had enough. <laughs> Which is pretty cool. Can you tell Matt and his family are electricians? In addition to tons of lights on his Jeep, his house is an electrical show place as well. see the light bar now oh my god all right that's crazy that is crazy then, yeah that's what the sides like oh the side floods on the uh turn that on again oh yeah i see that the floods on the side they're awesome awesome that is crazy But that's not what we're talking about today. We're just talking about the headlights. And they look good. Yeah, they got a good amount of light. And they're pointed nice too. They're right down on the street. They're not they're not going too far out. Yeah. There's another Jeep. These are the daytime running lights. Ready for the headlights? No. Do the uh, oh, blinkers, signals, right? the blinkers, yeah. Okay. You might need the key. Yeah, there okay. you go. Great. Okay, that's the left. Yep. And the right. Looks good. Excellent. Okay. High beam? Perfect. Go for it. There you go. Now, when the headlights go on, the daytime running lights go off and when you turn the headlights off the daytime running lights take about 30 seconds to come back on that must be something i don't know if it's for safety reasons or what but here we've got that's the high beams turn the high beams off there so that top that top light right here is the high beam and the other three are the the uh, regular headlight awesome all right, Matt, you're all done. Oh, look at that. It's like Christmas. <laughs> nice. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? Well, there's a link in the video description below if you want to check out these lights or other lights by SunPie. And if you like this video and learn something, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you in the next one. Visit my website, handydad.tv, for more great ideas and information. Be sure to subscribe to be the first to know when new videos are posted.